There were 32 deaths in just a short four-year period in Georgia state prisons. So let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Shout out to all the law-abiding criminals out there. As always, you know what to do. This is your first time on the channel and you wanna hear more prison stories, learn what it's like doing time inside prison, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Two things real quick before we get into this video, guys, you got to jump over there and subscribe to my new channel. It is called Alternative Self-Defense, where I talk about all kinds of ways that are not guns that you can defend yourself as a law-abiding ex-felon. Everything from bows, crossbows, knives, tasers, all those things. We talk about the weapons themselves, but we also cover the legalities and what you can and cannot do broken down by federal and by state. The second thing is, go ahead and give me a pass on the shades. Don't drag me too much. If any of you guys have been watching me for a long period of time, you know I frequently lose my shades. I just recently lost my other pair. Haven't had time to get back by the Dollar Tree to get me another pair. So today is the pink. I have had them on here before. It is what it is. Okay, now that I got my dumb ass out of that sun because it was about to kill me, let's just jump right into this video, man. This is all about the deadliest prisons in Georgia. Now, I do have five on this list, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you they're in no particular order. The only thing that I will say is that Smith State Prison does top it all. They are the most deadly. You know, you hear more things about the murders happening over there, the, the sheer level of violence. But these are the five most deadly, most dangerous, and most violent prisons in the state of Georgia. So since I just mentioned Smith, we might as well just go ahead and kick this whole thing off with Smith State Prison. Smith State Prison is located at 9676 Highway 301 in Glenville, Georgia. It was built in 1993 and it has a capacity of 1,615 inmates. A notable incident that happened at this prison is that Terrence Beasley, also known as Cap, which was the rapper T.I.'s best friend, was murdered there just last year. I'm not going to get into every single murder at every single one of these prisons because Georgia has been very, very violent for the last decade, maybe 15 or 20 years, and there's been so many murders, you just can't list them all in one video. So I'm gonna give you one notable incident from each, and that was Smith's, that the guy Cap, who has been in all of T.I.'s songs, you hear T.I. talk about him all the time, he was stabbed to death at that prison last year. But if you Google Smith State Prison, Glenville, Georgia, you will see article after article about major incidents, big group fights, gang fights, murders, stabbings, all those. Now, as I said before, Smith is the worst one in the whole state, but these other four, they're gonna be in no particular order, so don't think that I'm going down some kind of list in the order, because they tend to go back and forth. Some of these prisons will have the murders and the violence for a couple of years and then another one will overtake it. It kind of goes back and forth. So next, let's get into Valdosta State Prison. Valdosta State Prison is located at 3259 Valtech Road. It was opened in 1959, but it was renovated in 1989 and has a capacity of 1,312 inmates. A notable incident at Valdosta State Prison is that they had seven dead in just a two year span just at this one prison. And also as a side note, every one of these prisons that I am mentioning is close security. In Georgia, you have minimum, medium, and close. There may be another one in there. I can't say it's been so long since I've been in Georgia State Prisons, but all of these prisons I'm mentioning are close security, which is high. It's the highest of the high, unless you're on some kind of like administrative lockdown and you can't be around anybody. Next on the list, we have Hayes State Prison. Hayes is at 777 Underwood Drive in Tryon, Georgia, which is up by Tennessee. Has a capacity of 1,683 inmates. It was built in 1990. Now, a notable incident from Hayes State Prison is that two white guys who were a member of the Ghostface Gang escaped off of a prison bus and killed two correctional officers and went on the run. They were both captured later but the fact that they were able to escape belly chains and restraints and get through the door to the front of the bus and kill two guards was a pretty dramatic feat. This, this incident was all over the news. It was talked about for weeks and weeks. Next, we have Telfair State Prison. This is located at 170 Longbridge Road in Helena, Georgia. It was built in 1992, has a capacity of 1,420 inmates. Notable incident that took place there was that a correction officer in 2012 named Larry Stell was stabbed to death in one of the cell blocks. Georgia prisons obviously not just dangerous for the guys who are locked up in there, but also dangerous for the people that work there as well. From my understanding, there have been 
a good number of guards that have been killed, murdered, attacked, and it's not a safe place for anybody to be. Last on the list is Ware State Prison. This is located at 3620 Harris Road. That is in Waycross, Georgia. This prison was opened in 1990. It has a capacity of 1,546. Notable incident from Ware State Prison was that DeTravia Bryant was found unresponsive in his cell and authorities from the prison reached out to his family and told him that it was a suicide. Well, when they took possession of the body, they took it to the funeral home and the funeral home called them and told them, come up here with some cameras. You need to see this and take pictures. And his face was swollen. His eyes were almost swollen shut. He had ligature marks where it looked like he had been strangled and something that looked like he had been stabbed or at least had pushed in a two prong like goes into an electrical outlet. Well, the bottom line is it was found out that he was actually murdered and that the prison had lied to his family about it. And so that is the five worst prisons in the state of Georgia, Valdosta, Hayes, Smith, Telfair, and Ware. Now, all over the whole entire state of Georgia, violence and murders are happening. There have been murders at Wheeler Correctional where I did time. There have been murders at Hancock State Prison. There have been murders at pretty much every prison if it was a medium or a close security in the whole entire state of Georgia. Couldn't sit in that chair any longer, so take you guys on a little walk with me. But the bottom line is that the state of Georgia for a while there, for a few years, was in a crisis situation, almost like SCDC and like the Mississippi Department of Corrections. Now, I don't know if it still is because nowadays, if you Google anything related to prisons, and you look at the news tab, everything that's dominating the headlines is this dumbass coronavirus. And that's pretty much all you see is such and such amount of inmates tested positive for this and for that. You can't find anything else. Excuse me. Now, one prison, I think it was Valdosta, whenever I was looking, excuse me, messed up my microphone there. One prison I was looking at, which was Valdosta State Prison, I think it did for this year, 2020, it did have a news headline for somebody who got killed this year, but the rest of it was Corona cases. Now, there have been articles written, National Geographic, for you guys that don't know, did a show on the whole entire GDC. I'm pretty sure it was called Hard Time. I can't remember what it was called, but just Google National Geographic uh, show about Georgia prisons and they cover all the prisons there. There have been schools who have done like thesis work and written papers about the Georgia Department of Corrections and how violent it had become since around the year of 2010. Just the escalation in the number of huge shanks and knives that were being found and being used in murders and stabbings and everything. I have personally had videos sent to me. I haven't posted them on my channel because YouTube is frowning on that stuff lately. They actually took down my video about the SCDC riots, the ones that showed the bodies and everything. But I have seen videos where they have guys tied up in the cell, laying in the cell, hog tied with their hands and shit behind their back. And the guys are just sitting there stabbing this dude in his arms and his legs because he excuse me because he owed them a debt i have a ton of video about georgia prison that has been sent to me some of it is not all bad some of it's not all violent some of it is just the everyday life they show guys in there cooking on the bunks there's a uh, i have videos of some of the muslims praying in the units there's uh videos of guys which i couldn't tell if it was a big fight or if it was just a big wrestling match because it was kind of going berserk in the cell block you know what matter of fact i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see it. Here you go. Check it out. So you be the judge there. I can't tell if the guys were playing and wrestling or if they were actually fighting, but either way, a lot of stuff going on in the Georgia Department of Corrections. 
period point blank man prison is no place to be right now the the feds are bad state prisons are bad it's just bad all around man stay the hell out of jail in prison it's a shitty place to be you don't have any control over your life you either have to fall in with a race or fall in with a gang and have somebody telling you what to do the guards are telling you what to do your life is not in your own hands so guys those were the worst prisons in the georgia department of corrections i hope you enjoyed that content i will be back with more don't forget to jump over to the other channel the link will be in the description of this video alternative self-defense check that out give me a sub man show me some support over there i enjoyed rocking with you guys until next time